Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Zach, thank you so much for your time today. I love movies like this. I love zombies. I like heists. I like epicness. And this is giving me all of that. So I super enjoyed it. Oh, cool. When you're not a stranger to, to big epic films, huge undertakings, on a day when you have, say, a massive scene where you've got all your zombies, all your stars, everybody laid out. What do you do when you scan and you start the day? What are you looking for to make sure a shoot like that goes successful for the day? Yeah, it's a good question. I, I, I think for me, it's really about, um, well, first of all, you just got to really have a lot of respect for all, every, everybody involved because they're all working super hard. And on something like this where people have been in makeup for five hours before I even show up, you know, they, they got there at two o'clock in the morning to get in the makeup, you know? And, um, I, I, so I think that's where I always like to start just from a place of respect and, 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 and kindness because I, I, and also they're there to kind of help me make this thing real. And, and that, that's just, that's amazing, you know? And so, but then I think it's really just about putting your head down and doing the work. Um, and that is to say that like, you know, I, I draw, so I, I you know, I, I, I've written the script and then I draw these storyboards so that I use as a sort of a, a way through the scenes. But then, you know, you really just, it's easy to get daunted and kind of like off track because you just see this mass of people and everyone's like, what do we do? You know, like, how do we start? You know, and, and you can imagine that can be a little bit like, okay, let me think. <laughs> but, um, I think that uh, having such great support from my cast and crew, it, it allows you to just sort of like, like I say, put your head down and go like, okay, first shot is this, let's go, let's make it. And you just got to start building it like bricks. And it, it, it really, with, those, with that great support, you find your way through it. Mm -hmm. at, this, at this stage in your career and doing so many epic projects, does it get any easier to coordinate some of these things. These, this started for you in 2007, 2009, somewhere around there when you were originally getting going and, and starting the process and now being on the other side. Would you rate this as one of your easier projects to bring together, difficult? How do you rate it compared to some of your other projects you've accomplished? Yeah, I mean, I think as a, um, as a physical undertaking, it was probably the most daunting, but also the most satisfying from that standpoint as well, because, um, you know, being the director of photography and the director uh, on a movie like this, such a giant movie that, uh, you know, every day I went to work and from the second I stepped out of my car to the second I sat back down uh, in it to go home, um, it was complete immersion in every single thing. And so, um, and I love making movies. So it was really a joy to, and it was my longtime crew and my wife, who is my producer and, you know, collaborator, she, you know, we are a really, you know, quite a, quite a team. And I think that, you know, having her with me at, at every turn and, you know, they're taking care of everything and, and making it all work was an incredible experience as well and I think we were the most you know head down do the work uh on this movie than we've ever been um because it was such a you know we had taken so much responsibility on and uh but it, like I say in the end it was the most satisfying and the funnest lastly the the wonderful Dave Batista mm -hmm. I love him in this role because you know he's tough and he's formidable and He's committed to the goal, but he's always so warm. There's always such a level of warmth about him yes. and a caring and this big brutish demeanor. What made him the best fit to be Scott Ward and lead yeah. these people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I think that's it. I mean, I think you hit it because I feel like for me, he's like, sure, he's physically imposing. He's a big dude. He's athletic. So like, you know, the gun looks natural. Like, you know, he, He'll knock you out with it as well as shoot you with it. You know, it's not, he's, you know, 
that part of it is, is, is it, you know, it's inherent, it's inherent who he is. Like it, it, it comes naturally. But also there is this like vulnerability about him and this kind of, uh, like you say, this kindness, there's like this heart inside of him. Um, and in this movie, like the sadness that, you know, he's trying to redeem himself. And I just think that uh, that's just such a, such a rare thing to have in that, in that package that uh, I, really, I really thought he was perfect for, for doing for this particular moment. And he's, he's really just a great guy. Well, Zach, I was into it. I can dig it. Um, I like your first film. I like this one. So thank you for your time. I truly enjoyed it. It was right up my alley and have a wonderful rest of your day. All right, cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.